what's up everyone welcome to another video here at financial hub today is a sunday and i want to do a quick one okay so uh it's something that i wanted to share before the week starts so that most of you can get a glimpse of what is going on and also understand how the markets are and basically today i want to tell you that the markets are brutal Ooh. okay so today's raw no much edits on this video no much all that today everything clean okay markets are brutal anyway so what happened uh what i'm going to talk about a lot of things have been happening in the prop farm space but a quick update first of all before i get into why the markets are brutal and this is just a reminder to everyone as you're trading as you're pursuing your dreams in forex always remember to have proper risk management and all that i've not blown any account so don't get me wrong most of you might be thinking caleb what have you done have you blown any account no i have good sound risk management that helps me uh, protect uh, my downside but uh some good things have, have happened uh my funded effects finally did the migration brought the accounts back uh had my account back by friday uh i really wish they didn't do it by friday i'll tell you why but the accounts came back i uh, had that one and the rest are going back uh, fine uh the only problem i have so far is with um the funded trader so the funded trader uh is a very good problem very very good but out of all the problems that i have they're the only ones who have transitioned and only offering this platform called dx trade now all the other platforms or all the other broke uh prop funds are allowing uh pro uh specific broker called blueberry markets and i've been checking them out just trying to understand why is all prop funds giving blueberry market i'll do maybe another video on that but i've been doing some research just to understand who's the founder who's running it why blueberry all that i know is that blueberry markets is from australia as well i don't know why a lot of them dumped think markets which is also from australia to take blueberry markets uh but anyway i'll do more research and i'll update you on that so my funded effects did the migration brought our accounts back uh, so i have that one running and uh, well so my funded effects is also one of my best prop funds that i've been using and that have been giving me payouts so far so good love them very much my second best is the funded trader but the only problem is that when they did the migration themselves they only transferred everyone to dx trade now i talked about this in a previous video dx trade i opened it trust you me it's quite heavy um it's quite let me see it's quite simple it's just like metatrader if you open metatrader for the first time everything is all over so you need to take some time to learn dx trade is also a bit the same a bit more it has more things inside it a lot more complex stuff that needs time to learn so everyone being migrated to dx trade there's a disclaimer that they brought they said if you execute any trade using any platform that's the platform you're going to be using for life okay so i logged into my dx trade and i knew this is not a platform i want to use for life for now okay i'm very open to learning but as i transition as i learn a new platform i don't want to make small uh, nitty-gritty mistakes on dx trade that i understand metatrader well way better so i don't make those small mistakes on that so i i emailed them told them i'm waiting for the they emailed us told us that blueberry might be offered so i think i'll be patient with that i have a live account a hundred thousand dollar live account with them never executed any trade i'm waiting for that migration to be done i'll be patient enough to wait for blueberry i don't want to be using dx trade for now but i'll be using dx trade on a demo account just to learn how it works and maybe future i might educate you guys on how to use it as well i also have a three hundred thousand dollar account which is up five percent um on the dx uh, on the meta trader i mean sorry on the prop form as well uh which is still undergoing the challenge so i'll update you on that one also not executing until i get mt4 or mt5 account with blueberry market so, so on the other hand uh now down to the story that i want to share with you guys i want to show you something uh in the markets that happened the other day it was quite good and quite tedious quite tricky at the same time so, so so what basically happened now here i want us to talk about an account i have with funded engineer i have a three hundred thousand dollar account with funded engineer now funded engineer had gone down for some time and then finally came back they came back this week this past week i think it was around monday or tuesday on tuesday got my account back um they were doing a transfer their dashboard is all new the um uh, they're using blueberry markets as well so i got my ref i got my account back plus the profits i'd made i'd made about two percent so six thousand dollars in it still in the challenge okay so don't get me wrong not live six thousand uh, dollars which is up two percent and then they offered uh another uh blueberry market i think i've already said that so 
Now, here's where the story began. Started the week well, had very good trades running. Um, let's see here. So, this is my account, okay? So, you can see now, right now, it's up about 12,000. So, that's about 4%, um, 4 on that account. Uh, days traded is just because I got it on Wednesday, Tuesday, so I traded Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so only three days. You can see they reimbursed back my profits, so that's why they're saying six thousand because the account started with three thousand, uh, three hundred thousand, three hundred and six thousand. So I've made about or three hundred and five thousand there about. So I've made about six thousand on top, which is giving me this. Sasa. So I started the week well. So you can see since I got my account, I had uh, here. So I had my first trade made about five thousand dollars no no sorry this is the amount that they return my account with and then i started trading so i took this this is an aussie dollar made about three hundred dollars it was a quick trade in and out i just i was testing that time i was testing i hadn't started trading so i was just testing so that's the first trade i had i came in about i was testing if blueberry is fine the spreads all that came in out then i took another trade made about seven thousand dollars which about seven it was together with this one so about uh this was seven thousand plus this about eight thousand three hundred so it's almost three percent i made about three percent on the next day uh i think this was on the 29th uh uh just before the month i think that was on thursday then the next that same day i had another trade i had these two trades usd card and aussie dollar now here's where i want to show you how markets are brutal okay now this is aussie dollar i got a short trade here okay so I executed a short trade here so short trade and i'm sure most of you have experienced this huh? i am um, it's going to be really familiar a lot of you are going to resonate with it so i was looking at the markets so this was a basic trade look at this lower low lower high lower low lower high we broke this uh resistance a support level i mean turned resistance market came didn't get that touch started falling down didn't create a new low so you can see there market didn't create a new low here what happened sort of a double bottom markets moved back to the upside created that touch now this touch as market started rejecting it on the a bit lower time frame 30 minutes you can see the market closed with the shooting star let's let's look at it on the 30 minutes um somewhere here yeah here you see that candlestick okay that candlestick immediately you can see even my risk reward tool i took a short trade there so, so. very good trade Took a short trade there i was running for targets they weren't far on the 30 minutes my targets were here uh, slightly just here at the 80 mark so, so. um so that i took that trade so, so. alongside that i took a long trade on usd card now another beautiful trade i had a trade here a very good buy so same thing almost same thing markets move to the upside breakout retest of this level okay and i took a trade around here uh here i remember it was around 45 there i have my stop loss around here um not that tight it was around 25 it was about a 20 pip stop loss and my targets were just here okay so you see all those ones targets are just there running i had a very good trade took a good entry perfect entry markets just moved i broke even on all my trades so i was running risk free on those trades now what happened markets were running pretty pretty well i remember here when the markets opened the next day i wanted to take um an addition buy in here okay uh sort of a scaling but i decided you know what i don't want to risk too much and start losing more let just these trades run because as they were running if market hit target that those slight targets that you're about to see what you're seeing here i'd have passed the 300k challenge okay um of this account so if this one hit target and that one hit target now it didn't even have to reach target now over here i was very tempted to scale in but i did not i was tempted to scale in here again but i did not which i wish i did okay aussie dollar I had the same dilemma so i took a short trade here as markets came up like they started closing back below i was tempted to take another shot but i didn't take tempted to take another shot here to scale in but i did not okay now as markets reached here and that's why he's saying i'm saying i wished i scaled in i had remained 500 dollars i was make i had a 15 around 14 000, 15 000. i'll put a screenshot i'll put a screenshot here profit running okay i was i was at 20 now with with funded engineer you need to make a target of 10 percent so on a three hundred thousand dollar account that's thirty thousand dollars so, so so it's not the usual eight percent which is normal it's sort of like ftmo ftmo is also first phase ten percent so this was a target of three hundred thousand dollars that's a past eight percent that if it was eight percent you call it peter phase one long term 
Now, my account was running at 29,500. I even took a screenshot and I put it right here. I don't know. I was watching the market. I was out of the office. You can't step out. I was just watching it, just waiting to. I wasn't even waiting for TP. Just that level, like if you got 30,000, close, close. I watched, my friends. I watched. It was around open five. So here, you can see here, this was around markets were coming down. You see this candlestick closer as it was going down. I was pretty sure i'm in i was just waiting for that much just waiting okay on my other account i'd closed my trades so if you look at my other performance so this is sort of my smaller live account that i have with fxtm um that i have running so you can see this one marked trades were running from two percent here i had 2.7 percent boom up to nine percent okay so that was that's how much 2.2.5 to 9.5 that's about seven percent so other seven percent profit running boom reached there took target that one wasn't waiting these other ones was waiting patiently these other ones came out came out of my account of, of my trades now at this point here as i was about to hit target what happened i was just waiting slightly if you get to upper same thing on usd card i was just waiting slightly you see that previous high slightly i was just waiting for that level and that's why i'm saying i wish i scaled in because if i scaled in here or here i'd have come out as market was just moving up here and okay but this was a good lesson market always remind you who the market are it was a good lesson so you know if i maybe if i scaled in made out i started feeling happy for myself you know i used to have to make shika no 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 market always humble you okay and that's why i'm sharing this okay it's, it's good to be open and share what happens because a lot of you on it so when markets reach there you can see what happened immediately markets tanked now what happened news came out this was friday last week march okay so sorry so this was friday last week on march 6 p.m okay um i can see a manufacturing pmi came out and that my friend was the bottom line that was the last level that I saw. I saw that 29,500 ton. Now, I wasn't in the office. I was watching the market on my laptop, uh, on my phone. Another mistake that I made. So seeing this gap that market jumped with. So it's like, you know what? Markets are still in a downtrend. All that markets are going to go down. Now, what did I decide to do? Now, impatient deletion. I decided, you know what? Over here, I'm going to scale in now. <laughs> Woohoo! You know what happened? I tried to scale in here. To take the markets now it's like you know what if markets fall just kidogo if it just goes down i this gap to be closed and markets continue going down i'm home free i'm home free close my trade enjoy my weekend okay now what happened there market tank scaled in here and market rallied it really rallied okay now that's a mistake you shouldn't be doing that was an irrational uh, trade irrational entry the other ones i had already broken even so i wasn't changing my stop losses on those ones on the i just wanted this extra one to help me push that target and that's what you can see here happened you can see here this one's broke even you can see the usd card broke even at 700 dollars this one at 100 dollars and then the other scaling that i had i lost another one percent okay you can see that one percent loss that's what happened three thousand dollars so i saw my account at target at 29,500, Tan lost all that profit and lost even an extra percentage. And that's why you see my account is back down to 300,000, 311,900. Okay. So, yeah, so that was just to show you guys that always remember uh, markets are not your parents, they're not your friend, they're not your cousin, they're not your sibling. They're brutal and sometimes they're good. So, it's not all the time they're brutal. It's not all the time the it near profits. There's sometimes so it's different. All, all of you have experiences. Sometimes nears profit turns. Sometimes hit stop loss turns. Sometimes you miss out on a trade, you just hit running to target. And sometimes you're just knocked off, your stop loss is hit, and you're totally wrong. And you take another trade, you hit again. So so these things we all experience, my guys. It's it's trading. I saw uh fifteen thousand dollar profit turned to zero and i lost even more so i ended up losing eighteen thousand dollars on that trade and yes it's not a live account still demo but um the thing about prop forms and all this is sort of treat it as a live account and it's, it's a journey you know it's good i was telling uh, my psychologist while i was having a session uh, the other day and all of you guys 
also have a free evaluation session with her so book with her there's a link below book your session come I have a session with her so telling her um uh, the markets are brutal uh, uh sometimes you can see a profit running uh, uh it comes to target then all of it disappears and sort of when you're trading a uh, demo account it's sort of like it's good they give an evaluation because it sort of prepares your mind to the account of money you'll be trading um some of you if you start trading a $300,000 account right now and you see $3,000 profit in a trade at age of care target uh, profit take evil while you're living around $10,000 on the table you'll have made much more so and also a loss can be equally even not equally 10 times more painful than even losing a trade uh missing out on a trade because losing three thousand dollars then you start thinking of extending that currency into kenya shilling and all that you're like oh this is about four hundred and fifty thousand kenya shillings i lost it on a trade yeah like mine you can see i lost eighteen thousand dollars boom okay but it was it was painful at the heat of the moment um i remember that day i just went and had fun and i was like what um the markets are the markets next week i know i'll be different in the heat of the moment it's hard to change your psychological state it was hard um, even yesterday saturday i was just waking up i was like yani low out the woken up to a 10% next week i'm just looking for 5% because i'm really enjoying trading the big account the $300,000 account 1% return you have a clean $3,000 so um i'm loving it i'm loving it so anyway i'll update you guys i'm now sooner or later i'll pass this challenge these are the ups and downs that we all go through and uh, you got to embrace it enjoy in the heat of the moment you can't enjoy but looking back you laugh and be like hey, that time was down i've been through worse uh, this is not the worst thing that i've gone through i've been through worse but i hope a lot of you can resonate with what i'm saying and yeah that's just what i wanted to share don't to talk too much it's a sunday I want you guys to enjoy your day your weekend as you prepare for the week but that's basically it i'll wait for new opportunities to form this week i'll update you if i pass the challenge on phase one but that's basically it enjoy your weekend enjoy your sunday i'm happy you guys have tuned in to listen and like always stay woke stay financially literate may the peace be with you peace guys